If you're a GCSE student and your goal is to one day work at Argos, you need to know how to answer this quadratic simultaneous equations question. Seven marks. Solve x squared minus 3y plus 11 is 0. 2y, uh, 2x minus y plus 1 is 0. Now I get asked this a lot. Are you allowed to equate the zeros? Just because they both equal 0 does not mean that we can just equate them. And even if you equated them, you're going to get one line with x's and y's mixed up. You can't solve that. Okay, in fact, there's an infinite number of things that we can equate to zero. They're not all the same, okay? Nor do they all have solutions. So the first thing we do is we take the linear equation, so the one that do, does not have a squared in it, and rearrange for either x or y. Now here, the y is clearly the easier one to rearrange for because its coefficient is one. Forget about the minus for a second. Yeah, the absolute value is one. So we take the minus y, we move it to the other side. A negative y on the left is a positive y on the right. So we'd be left with 2x plus 1 equals y. This is known as the subject equation. Now, wherever we see y in the other equation, we're just going to replace it with 2x plus 1. Don't forget, brackets. So we have x squared minus 3, brackets, 2x plus 1. Yes, that's that. Plus 11 is 0. Expand. We get x squared minus 6x uh, minus 3. And then plus 11 is 0. All right, let's move over here. So when we simplify that, I get x squared uh, minus 6x. Uh, minus 3 plus 11 is 8 plus is 0. Okay, mate. All right. Now we factorize that. So to factorize this, we're going to have two brackets. What multiplies by itself to give you x squared? Well, not necessarily multiply by itself, but what multiplies to give you x squared is just x and x. For 8, we have 1 and 8. 2 and quattro. Which one of those combinations are going to add to make 6? Particularly minus 6. It's obviously going to be 2 and 4. To make minus 6, they both need to be negative. So we have minus 2, minus 4. Now we have two brackets that multiply to give you 0. So one of them has to be 0. Yeah? 0 times something is 0. Uh, 0 times 0 is also 0, so they both could be 0 as well. So we're going to say x minus 2 is 0, or, so it's an or statement, not an and statement, x minus 4 is 0. A minus 2 on the left is a positive 2 on the right. Minus 4 on the left, positive 4 on the right. Okay, now we go back to the subject equation to find the y coordinate. So y is... 2x plus 1. So you double the x value, then you add 1. When you double this, you get 4, then you add 1, 5. Here, double the x, 8 plus 1, 9. And there's our answers. We have 2, 5, and 4, 9. And that is how we secure the Argos job. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. And subscribe for more GCSE content like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. If you are interested in my GCSE courses, then links are in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Nice.